Yes, I think this came about because of his uh, writing of De Annalisi, which he then sent to, to Isaac Barrow in Cambridge and to John Collins in London. Um, Isaac Barrow resigned very soon after that from the Lucasian chair and Newton was installed in place instead. We don't know exactly how this happened, but it's a very close coincidence that this happened so soon after Barrow saw De Annalisi. And I suspect that he saw in this that Newton was a genius and really much better suited to be mathematics professor than Barrow himself was. Barrow didn't really want the job any longer anyway. The other person that uh, Newton sent the manuscript to was John Collins in London, who collected mathematical books, mathematical papers, mathematical intelligence generally. Uh, Collins himself didn't understand mathematics very well, but I think he would have seen that here was something important and again recognised Newton's um, abilities. Um, and decided to invite Newton on the back of this to annotate a, an algebra book by a Dutch writer called Kinkhuizen. Uh, Collins was very interested in publishing this book but thought it needed extra notes and that Newton would be the perfect person to do it. So this was Newton's first uh, step up towards fame, if you like. But Collins also wrote to his friend James Gregory in Edinburgh and told him about Newton and New some of Newton's discoveries. In particular, he was interested in Newton's discoveries of infinite series. Um, because, as Collins probably knew, James Gregory was working on something very similar, very similar indeed. Uh, this is something that happens a lot in mathematics, that you get parallel discovery, and Gregory and Newton were, were the two certainly most able mathematicians in Britain. And Gregory wrote back and said, this is very interesting, I'd like to know more about what Mr. Newton is doing, and Collins sent him some examples. Unfortunately, the repercussions of this, as far as Gregory was concerned, was that he didn't publish his own work. He said, I'll wait for Mr. Newton to publish his, and of course Newton didn't. And Gregory died in 1673 before he'd ever been able to publish his work. And so to this day, we don't really know what Gregory did, and this is a great pity because it was very interesting. Uh, but he was waiting for Newton.